Wah, bah, 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 what is up? Wow. I didn't want to die. <sighs> we're painting this thing. And um, that's it. We're pretty much just going to jump into it. Um, first things first, I need to... First things first. I need to clean up my palette a little bit. But then, but then we're gonna put more blues in here. And also I've got some blop like some not great oranges in here. I also think this leaf needs to be well we'll talk it through. We'll talk it through. Oh, oh, wasn't recording. That's good. With your arms around my I need to I need to disconnect these from give me one sec. Um, do you remember? That's too dark. More blue. To go into a little bit of uh, I'm just trying to get my values right for this back part. I basically realized I need to add in more. What do I need to add in more of? Something. Um, uh, blues. But it needs to be the right value. This, sh this should have been in the background a little bit more, though. But we'll see how it looks. Stupid so far. Not great. Don't love it. We'll keep her going. Um, there was actually quite a few things that I was quite happy with on this yesterday that I got to. I don't know. 
Maybe I should oil. No, I'm not. Am I going to oil it? No, I'm not. All right, that was not going to be there. I don't know what I'm going to do. Blues, greens, blues, greens, blues, greens, blues, greens, blues. Random talking. Do you guys ever talk to yourself? Yeah, me either. It'd be weird. So one of my self critiques on this was that the maybe I need to <clears throat> make um bigger shapes in the background instead of having um Let's connect some of these big shapes together with some like bluey greens. My goal today is to take this background basically as far as I can. I read the rules before I broke them. I wrote the change before they knocked me out. What's up, my dude? How was work? Actually, this one is going to start coming together um, really nicely. Good. Dope. Good to hear. I ask you how work is because I know you're always there. Out of, out of respect, bro. Out of respect, I ask. Um, what was I going to say? Something different. I don't know. 
Oh no, this one's gonna come together. I am, um, I am. Um, this leaf right here. Nice. I'm having a sparkling water, so whew, that makes two of us. <laughs> I'm just being a bad boy. Instead of having regular water, I'm having uh, some spicy water. Um, this leaf right here, I'm going to move it. Probably move it to about here. I just think it would have a better balance on this piece. This leaf, though, what I realize I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it right behind her here. I love spicy gin martini. Nice. I am. Um, I never really liked the taste of alcohol in pretty much anything. Like if I have like an iced tea, like just like a sugary iced tea, like a regular iced tea, I taste it and I'm like, mmm, this tastes good. But I never had like a like a a drink that I enjoyed drinking. You know, whatever. Not my, uh, not my jam, bro. Okay, let's do some. Right. What was that? Uh, I think that was a heron. I believe. Right. Like that little park. That's too dark. This needs to be more purpley violet. So let's go blue. Where the hand does grow on bushes. And you sleep out every night. Where the boxcars all are empty. And the sun shines every day. I got a... Uh... I got some good news about my artwork today that I'll probably be able to share with you like next week. Well, I got a good lead on something basically. Yeah, I had a good lead on some stuff lately. It actually kind of does feel like it's all coming together. Like even if some of the opportunities that I have right now don't work out, um, I don't know. It will. Uh, it'll be good. Earth yard, how are those bed bugs? Which one, bro? I fucking there's so many people right now that have bed bugs. Today was the first day in a while that I did I I, I don't know if I did anything with bed bugs actually. Well kind of. I actually texted a bunch of people about it and set up some calls and set up some appointments, but I didn't have to like talk I don't know. Fucking how are the bed bugs? Fuck them bed bugs, dude. I've got, I've got three, I've got three bed bug, uh, all the ones I'm cooking. Well, I hope they're dead. I hope I never have to go. Actually, I forgot my, I have this big box of electrical cords and I forgot them, um, at the fucking place and they texted me and I was like, oh man, I never want to see you guys again. Respectfully, respectfully. I told them that I told them that too. I texted two guys there at this place I was at and I, uh, I was like, because it's been like a really stuck problem, basically. It's been not that fun for anybody. We're all just kind of doing the best we can. The customers as well. And um, I like jokingly said, I hope I never see them again. But I get told that a lot at my work. Just because if I'm there, the problem is still there. But um, people usually say, hey, man, I really like you. But uh, I hope I never have to see you again. And I say, I get it. I understand. My girlfriend says the same thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Too scared to talk to girl. Okay. Um, 
No, man. I went into this place, though, and they had, like, this bed torn apart, and I cooked the room to, like, 135 degrees Fahrenheit for uh, three hours. And, um, yeah, I walked in there, and there were so many dead ones on the ground and on all the beds and shit. Then I sprayed the shit out of this room with, like, this special bed bug spray. Um, it's like a plumber when they see you. It's the worst part of the day. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, I guess being a plumber would probably be fucking gross sometimes, too. Yeah, when I'm, um, yeah, when I'm dealing with, like, specifically with the bed bug people, when I'm dealing with them, it's like, it's not fucking fun, dude. People are, like, so stressed out. Like, sometimes I can walk into a place and I can know if they have the bed bugs or not just based on how they answer the door. Or, like, if I talk to them on the phone, I'll say, I'll say, like, how are you? And they'll say, I'm okay. Like, that's a really common, like, uh, thing. But, um, no, I think I killed them the bed bugs at this place. I'm really hoping I did. I, I legitimately hope I never have to see those guys again, like out in, in a work context. Okay, I hope their problem is licked. I hope, um, On Friday, how can you go to sleep? How can you go to sleep when your bed is infested? Um, that's part of the problem, for real. Is that um, well? Part of the problem is that by the time that I get there, people have already been dealing with it for a while, and they're one super stressed out. Especially if their kids are getting bit. Like then, they're, then they're way more stressed out. But they're they're real stressed out, and then um, basically they're also sleep deprived because they can't fucking sleep. And then every little piece of dirt looks like a bed bug. Everything like I go into the places, I go into the places, and I still think everything looks like a bed bug. Like I'm like, oh, is that a bed bug? And then I pick it up, and it's just like a little piece of dirt. I'll go to people's houses, and they'll have like little bits of fluff. This is really common. They'll have like little bits of fluff and shit saved up in jars. They'll have like a little jar of like usually like little pill jars or Ziploc bags or something. And they'll be like, Oh, is this is this bed bugs? Is this their is this stuff? Like it's 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 fucking crazy. It's like it's literally you walk in. I tell the guys like that I'm training or whatever, but like you're walking in and it's like it's a it's you're you're solving a mystery. Like that's really what you're doing. You're solving a mystery. You're like going in there and trying to figure out like how you can help or like if you can help or if these people actually have bed bugs, like, are they just imagining it? Like um, I've been to a couple places where people think they have them and they, I don't think they have them. And it's um, fucking crazy job, dude. I like it though. Like it's like, it's not an easy job. Well, actually that's not true. Most of the time it is fucking easy. Uh, it's a dope job. Um, and I get to paint. We were going to have like a, we we're going to have like a, yeah, my job is dope basically right now. We we're going to have like a, a staff meeting. We we're going to have a staff meeting in two weeks. And also have like a manager's meeting, but then I was trying to line up like my next, my next model, and she's coming out from Vancouver, which is just like an hour away, and it's also supposed to maybe be raining, and everybody's just like, I was like, oh, can I possibly get like a day off that week to like do this photo shoot or whatever for my paintings? And they're like, yeah, we'll just if it uh, if it's like a big thing, we'll just move the staff meeting. 
if it's like going to be raining or whatever that day, we'll just move the staff meeting to a day when you can, you can, so you can go to that. And I was like, oh, fuck. Dope. So basically, I'm pretty fucking happy with like killing the bed bugs and stuff. I don't know. Kind of lost what I was talking about. I just got excited about everything. It's a good job, though. I, I do like helping people with the uh, bed bugs also. Like they are super grateful and stuff. And you get to, I don't know, you get to spend some random ass days with people. And it's just like, and it's also like really, it, like I, I know I'm, I said it's like a puzzle to figure out. And sometimes it's not that fun. And sometimes it is gross. But like um, when you figure it out and like you help these people solve their problem, it's like pretty fucking rewarding. And I also like sometimes I um sometimes I also I don't know. It just takes all of my mental capacities to like solve the problem about like how we're gonna do the bed bugs or like what we're gonna do. And I was actually just thinking about this before I started painting because it was something that I said on stream the other day. But I also think that it um I also really feel like that it keeps me humble. And I know that's kind of like a weird thing to uh, not brag about, but like just say, like that's not humble to say that. But um, it does because like when I'm doing this or whatever, this doesn't fucking feel like anything. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, just sitting here painting, talking about the bed bugs. And the uh, hens lay soft boiled eggs. In the big rock candy mountains, all the cops have wooden legs. Okay, let's look back at it. I think that is better. Let me look at the last picture that I took of it. Yeah. It's um it's just it just I just needed uh, to add some more blues and darks in there so that it was like more it needed to be more separated from the background basically in the big rock candy mountain Yeah, my man's. You get me.
Golden hour. And then we need more, a little bit more sky poking through, I think, in certain places here. This is better already, I can tell. Oh, yeah. Now she is coming together, like... It's kind of funny. I kind of feel like I have no idea what I'm doing sometimes. Like, I still feel like I'm just a very beginner. Um, and then um, I'm like, fuck, I got lucky again, bro. Can you believe how much luck I'm having? That's generally my thought process. Yeah, this is dope. No, um, I don't know. Not humble. I kind of like this, some of these too. Of that, I'm sure. Oh, you know what? This is actually way better. Way better, dude. I don't know. It's just... Sometimes you just do some little things that you weren't even like, well, I mean, I was thinking them, but um, no, I didn't think that the, putting a little bit of sky in there would, would add a bunch of depth, but it was the, it ended up being the, um, the right one thing. I don't like this one. Mm 
Let's try to play cool now. But I could be a crush now. A little bit too much of uh, the same, the same up in here. This needs to be darker some spots. Okay, I think that I need to start moving some of these leaves around. I really like this one. I wish I could just leave it, but I'm going to just scrape it off. But I just want to see. So that was here, and I think I want it to be here. Uh, where have I ever been? Can't get enough. No, I want it to sustain. No, no. It's too high chroma. Uh, it's probably not actually. It's probably good. I don't know. Let's stop judging. And just keep painting. Just keep fucking going. I watched some girl that made a list of um, reasons why she doesn't like oil painting or like it's harder or something. And um, it's not like I don't have struggles, but I just realized that like a lot of the struggles that well, maybe it's because I just fucking burnt, like, I just willed it out of me by fucking doing work. But, like, I just don't feel like that a lot of the, I don't have a lot of the same struggles that, like, well, I also guess there's probably beginner artist struggles. So maybe I, I, I feel like I'm still in the beginner stage, but I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud, you know? 
That's too big. I also have something stuck in my teeth that's really bothering me. I might go get my water flosser and try to get it out quickly. Not on stream, but just like... It just makes me feel better when I don't have stuff caught in my teeth. I'm back. Spicy water. Hey, meaty meat. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy. You need a haircut. You need a haircut, boy. Okay, I think that, do I like that? No, you know what I want to do? I, I need to not make it overlap on itself back into this. Is part of the, the problem, I think. I need to make it like, I need to make this loop in from out here. The farmer's trees are full of fruit. Okay, what do I want to do now? Okay, now I need to get into... I think more into this red. Yeah. Okay. 
Can I to... I also need to make a muddier color, I think. Because I would like... That's better, I think. into pieces easy to choose. Bad bugs. No, I don't know. Fuck. Can't stop thinking about it. No, I can. I need to get in some like really muddy browns. Sorry, muddy oranges into these shadows. So that when I come down here with other stuff, it's going to like pop. Oh shit. Gotta lay this out for this girl. I need my um, fucking paint roller thing. Where is it? I need to clean up my house. Where the fuck is that paint roller thing? Oh, there it is. This thing. This thing. I'll, I'll try to get a good shot for you guys. You put the tube in there like that. Then I grip it. I'm really strong. No, I'm, I'm average strong. I, I'm probably stronger than regular, but I'm like not that big. And then I roll this. And then it, it crimps it. So I'm basically getting the most out of my paint. Meatball, you're standing here, dude. And then all my paint is ready to see. Look at this. Watch this little tiny squeeze. This is how the makeup girls do it. Like this. See how easy it is? Better than any pressure. This is a quiet night on the old stream fronts. That's okay.
Just uh, for the love of the game, baby. Love of the game. Um, yeah, putting in some of these reds in this was a, I think a fucking really good idea. And it was kind of came to me by accident. Um, yeah, so this red that I'm putting in here now, because there's like some old leaves and stuff, you know? Yeah, this looks, I think this looks, this background, this top part looks way better. This might be, this might be, I think I need to just knock this down this chroma for now. On this. It was kind of fun to have it on there for a sec, mm -hmm. but I would like to, let's go with this. Yeah, I think that's better. And then we'll go back to this red. And we'll paint like into this. You know? I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. La 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 la. You know what maybe I should make like this here.
Um, I think this painting is going to be good now. I should have like a little indicator. Maybe I should make like a little indicator on like my confidence level. Like, you know, it could be like a little dial and I could like turn it up like that. Like confidence level that this painting is going to be dope and I would just turn it up. And I can just sit right here in the background so you guys know where my confidence level is at. Right now, I would say, let's turn that baby up. I wonder if I can get something like that. Is there like a, what would I search for? I wish I can find something on Amazon. What would it be? LED light bar? LED. No, it's not going to come up with the right thing. LED confidence bar. Anyways. Right now, I'm feeling good. That should last for a good 20 minutes. Okay, so where is this? Now, this needs to go darker value, a step down still. And then maybe a little bit of reds in there as well. Let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, and then this one. Hmm. Now I'm going to have to start getting into. I know that this that these leaves that are sticking out need to be more high chroma, but this is why. Because. Mambo Italiano, hey Mambo, Mambo Italiano. La 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 Tarantella, Empanada, Enchilada. There was a boy from Napoli. Hey, mambo, mambo italiano. Okay, let's do this.
Italiano. Um, okay, this needs to go up like this, maybe. Oh, actually, this needs to get. Oh, my goodness. Let's see that. I don't know. Intuition counts for a lot, and you've got it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, I kind of was thinking about that intuition thing the other day, though, and... Um, I wonder how much of it is, I wonder how much of it is natural versus learned. You know what I'm saying? How much of it is good advice that I've heard on painting videos on YouTube? I think it still counts though. Like, doesn't matter how you get the right answer, you know what I'm saying? This is. I'm just squinting now to see everything. This, um, These these leaves this leaf needs to be a lot brighter so that I can um because it's gotta like it's gotta pop off. This is gonna be too bright, I know it is. I can I can fix this after. Um, yeah, like that looks a little way better. I, sometimes I don't know how well you guys can see. This is where we're working. Let's zoom in. What I would like to do here is I would like to get some more oranges in the background. My plan is a little bit more oranges in the background. They're just going to be poking through. Then I'm going to come in with a pass of um, green. Of course, you can't see what I'm doing right away as soon as I zoom in. No, then I'm going to come in with like a pass of green. I need to stand up and view this more straight on. And then... Um, you know what I'm definitely getting better at, though? is um i think i'm already getting i can see myself improving at getting better at, <laughs> this is a butchered sentence i can see myself improving at making better decisions on the um off of the reference photo like just for reference like there's some weird looking floater leaves that are like right behind her here that um like it's in the thing but i don't need to put it in the painting if it doesn't make sense and there's also a couple of weird looking orange leaves under here, under her dress, where I think it would be better if it was like a sharper drop off like I have it here. This in focus. There we go. And this, her butt, like it, it would just look weird against her butt basically. But we'll get there. But anyways, 
that's my that's my plan a little bit more orange put in some darker stuff and then put in some um lighter stuff and i don't know but i uh Also, putting in some of these greens back here is also going to help that these couple of these couple of leaves, these leaves pop out more too. So let's do. This needs to be brighter. And this also. I don't need to do that much with these big floater leaves as I'm calling them for now. Cause basically at the end, I'm going to come in here and just try to make like the biggest, the biggest, like best brush strokes that I can on them. But they do need to, I don't, I don't want them to get like lost or anything back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think that looks about right. No, that looks way better. I'll zoom out. It, um, I think this could have used some more orange. Just as I said, I'm not going to do anything on it till the end. And I'm just like, oh, let's just play with these things that are not important right now. Mambo Italiano. Okay, what do I want? Uh, I think I need to go some, gr I was going to say greener greens. That's not a, that's not really a thing. No, more browns. This is too big of a, a value jump. It's supposed to be, and, and I just keep putting more paint down. I need to, um, Oh, yeah, I see. I'm, um, I need to put in some darker reds underneath the marks that I just made. Here's my little paint roller guy. I kind of, I kind of would like, I kind of would like something, I think. Well, I don't know how it would work though, but like something to hang my paints up here. I was kind of thinking I could put something up top. Like this needs to be like a full, this, this, like my whole station needs to be like, um, it needs to facilitate me making art. I could just put it back up there. Maybe it will maybe I will do that. Dang. That's another project. I'm actually gonna I think I'm gonna write that down quickly so I don't forget. I'm gonna make like a painting. Painting rack. I'll show you guys what I'm thinking. I have this I have this shelf up here. 
and I could get some bulldog clips. I see lots of girls on YouTube putting like bulldog clips and hanging them on pegboard. I don't have pegboard, but I could just make a strip that goes along here. And then all my stuff could hang up there in order across here. So then when I need more paint down here, I would just grab it. No, I think it's a good idea. Neat. Neighbor dogs, neighbor dogs barking. He's starting to howl. I went to some lady's house today to check on these. Check us, check the story out. I went to this lady's house today to check on these rat bait stations. We have to go there to like service them or whatever, whatever. Um, and um, they let me into this gate, and then there's this dog that's just like. There was a really nice Rottweiler and there was this other dog, Meatball, stop. Come here. Um, and um, it was like just barking at me. And I was like, is this dog friendly? And she's like, not really, it's my daughter's dog. And there's no leash and there's no harness and like whatever. So I'm just like, I got this little bucket and I'm like trying not to get bit by this dog and it's barking and she can't grab it and stuff. And uh, so then we're walking around and I can't even like bend over to like, check out these boxes because uh this late this lady like there's the dogs like in the way you know what i mean i keep thinking i'm gonna get like bit or something and then um we tried to trap the dog in the garage and then the, the dog wouldn't go in the garage and then um finally her solution was to lock me in the garage and then she would take care of the dog and so I'm like standing in her garage with my bucket and I was just like, <laughs> it was kind of funny. I was like, what's happening here? It's like, how did I get here? <laughs> standing in a garage. That's better. Sometimes it's kind of crazy to me how um, just like a little like flick of paint can. Um... Oh, that's that's too much. That's a little. That was, <laughs> call that call that overconfidence. Was that hubris? Hey Siri, what does hubris mean? Yeah, that was a little hubris. Sometimes I read books and then I get big words and then I'm not sure if I'm using the big words right, but I'm like, oh, it sounded good. And then sometimes I am right and sometimes I'm not right. Well, that's life. My one issue with painting, um, I need to, I need to not be scared to paint into these though, into these big leaves that I've kind of put the shapes down a little bit. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, I think now I need to, um, I think that where I would like to get this to today, basically, is a little bit further. I know that that kind of sounds like vague, but I think I would like to add in the greens on top of this section. Okay, let me back up. I kind of feel like I got four zones in here right now. I feel like I got this tree line, okay? And then there's this, there's this kind of secondary bush in the background here. I know it probably you can't kind of see it on, on video, but there's um 
there's more colors in this back one because the leaf the the leaves on the trees have started to change but this bush here basically hasn't started to change leaves yet leaves just so, like it's changing leaves the colors it's not losing chlorophyll okay that's what's happening it's not yet it's still doing good um and then there's kind of some dead leaves and shit stuck in it so it's red and then there's some leaf litter that's on the ground here so what i need to do now is add in some i need to mix up some brighter greens and put them in here so that means greens with more cadmium i'm going to mix up viridian yellow ochre and some cad red no cad red cad yellow beet and then we'll go from there so what i say should have done it instead of talking about it. Oh man, look at it. And then actually, I think I'm going to put in a little bit of blue. I was watching a video today and some girl was talking about like a uh, color harmony and how she has a tough time sometimes with color harmony. And um, I don't feel like I do right now because like I'm not using that many different colors. Like I, th I think that's. Um, I think this is going to be too bright. That's too... It's a good... That might be a good... I'm going to save this green, though. Sorry, let me finish what I was thinking, though. Is that... Um, I never cared about having all the colors, basically. I just picked, like, some basic colors. And... I started going for it. And I started using them. Actually, I did these online courses. I was, I was editing videos for this one art teacher before. And um, because I was editing videos for him, I had to like watch the videos. You know what I mean? It was like perfect. It was like doing stuff for doing stuff. for the stuff that I was learning and um, he's really good. But um, just little things that he was talking about. I still find myself go like I still think about him teaching. There's, there's gotta be, okay. Okay, let's get into this. I need to go. What do I want? I'll go with this brush here. We're getting off of the hog hair bristle brushes and we're getting into some. Um, and then we'll see how some of these look. How does that look? It looks kind of like nothing, which is like. I don't know. It's decent. Do you remember all my shoulders? Okay, let's do this. I 
Oh, I didn't like that. I think I picked up a little bit off off that. Um, I think I picked up a little bit off that lead. Got too confident. Oh god, is that hubris thing fucking sneaking up on me again? And we'll do a couple of big, bright greens here. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, I would say it looks terrific, honestly. Give yourself, we'll do it. We'll do a, do a little pat on the back. Nice job. Okay. Heaven is here if you want to. I think my dog wants something because he's just standing and he's like, What you want, dude? What's the matter? One second. I just want to see if you need to go pee. He went pee, but I think he was just fucking around. To be perfectly honest, we'll give him a treat anyway. Good job, dude. Good job. Go and keep him. Here you go. There you go. That's some treats. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was way better. I can see that background now. It's, um. What else do I not like? Sugar man. Oh, that was bad. Okay, let's go. Because I'm tired of these strings. With all these autos. Never hot chimes. Wow. Okay. I'm um I'm Yeah, I don't know. Something about what I've done today. I'm excited to get over here. We'll definitely make it to this part and then we're gonna I think tomorrow then I'll start. What day is it today? Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow is <laughs> Thursday. I'm really going to do this. I'm just going to count the days. The next day after that, Friday. I might have, um, I got part of Saturday to paint because I got to fix this truck door. And I just got my part in. So I can do that. And then um, what else? I don't know. Do you remember? I would like to be started on another painting by... I would like to be started on another painting by... Sunday. And... Yeah, I want to be able to start another painting by Sunday, for sure. I 
This needs to have some. This needs to be darker spots in here. What do I? I don't have any like darker. Oh, you know what? I should use dark. I was gonna say dark blue. Well, it is dark blue, but it's like it's not. I'm just not very like appropriate with like <laughs> what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something about this is really, um, something about this for me is just really taking shape today. It's just, it's kind of neat. It's giving me more. I don't know. I just, sometimes I just feel like you can do more, I guess. So, there should be a green. I don't have to paint what I see. I don't have to paint what I see. But sometimes you should paint the things that you see. better let's do this a little bit of like i don't know And then this one, before up here, I was too small on my brushwork. But now I can start getting a little bit smaller in here. Um, Let's do this. Well, my. Okay, we are getting close, ladies and gentlemen, to being done for the day. No beggy. We'll come into here. We'll finish this.
Okay. Um, pretty close, ladies. Let's put in a really no. I don't want to do that though. I was going to say, let's put in like some bright stuff here, but I don't want to do that because I want to increase the chroma as we're coming in. But I also want to keep, I also would like to keep, um, I don't know, something like this. Come on, Scott. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, this I made this leaf here that's going off the edge of the painting, and um, I seen this one guy make a painting one time, and it was of a, of a fox, except he put he framed the it was like a long horizontal painting, and he framed the just all you could see is the butt of the fox, and it was like you were just catching a glimpse of this thing walking past or whatever, and um, that's kind of what I was thinking when I put that there, and I really like it there. I just don't know how of. Um, I don't know how of high chroma I need to make that because I want it to stick out and not look like a mistake. Not that it looks like a mistake now, but I guess we could just, um, let's just put a little bit more. Let's just put a little bit more yellow. I guess I can always go over it later. I also don't like this. This looks like a potato right now. It's okay. I'll fix this all. Um, what do I think? Uh, I think that some of these need to go closer to her dress because she looks just a little... I look like I basically painted around her dress because I have. And also around these leaves. I need to also, you know what I need to do? See, that's the problem with putting those leaves in there before is that um, that's what I'll do. I need to paint basically over them, I think, and then come back and carve them out because otherwise some, they won't be over top of the, they'll, they're just over top of dark space they're not over top of like um those green leaves you know what i mean they need to be over top of everything just do that i like that better already and actually i'm gonna take and rub some of that off and how much green is here how much just little hints of stuff. Um, okay, I think I'm going to sit with that. I think I'm going to go get, I don't know, I should clean up. What time is it? Woo, 8.30. Socially acceptable bedtime. No, I'm going to go get some more stuff done, because otherwise I'm going to be like another hour painting, starting to get into this mess. Not a mess, it's Um, yeah, for some reason, I feel like this this big this took a lot of um, I feel like I made some progress on it today. I'm still not sure if I have enough. Um, I don't know. I need to oil that up, but I need to let it obviously set up now. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks, everybody, for um, joining me. This time, I'm going to try to remember to turn off the stream when I exit. And see ya. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate y'all.